something has me. Wards. It's awfully calm. Why is it awfully calm? I can't help you. The wards work well enough. You didn't need to kill so many bots. Demonologists use necromancy. Maybe he thought he'd bring them back when he was done. Noticed us. Stay low. Ariadne's thread leading through the void. Very useful indeed. Oh, very useful right until it falls apart. Then you're stuffed like force meat in a turkey. Creepy hideout. The governor spawn likes a bit of drama. This one's different. Looks like it died diseased. This is some dark, sideways magic. It's forbidden. I've read it. <laughs> Sometimes I worry about you. Ugh. What is this thing? Banish your rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. <laughs> So, you can see me. 
Aren't you full of surprises, young Master Haskell? You may talk. A banished ghost. Amazing. How on God's earth did you find me? Never mind that. Thank the Lord you did. Thought I was going to grow old in here. As hiding places go, the void is quite the choice. Yes, an amazing place. Oh, plain? World? The Aralum is not easily described, but it makes a fascinating study. Tell me, how did you get past the Guardian beneath the mill? Did you use a decoy? We fought it. Don't change the subject. You fought it? Of course you did! A good thing too. I was starting to think it was wise to me tricks. Oh, but I have so many questions. This isn't a social call, kid. And we're the ones with the questions. Oh. Oh. Of course. From the looks of this place, you're knee-deep in research. What are you doing here, exactly? Searching for the origin of the Harrow's Plague, of course. And I have a theory on the subject. Of course you do. Go on, then. Now, at first, I believed the water poisoned, but my father sealed the well, and yet folk remained sick. They looked for witchcraft, a foolish, uneducated suspicion, yes, but with some truth concealed behind it. You see, the Aralu taints New Eden. Its influence leeches into the Harrows. The evidence is everywhere. Can you prove that? Where's your evidence? In New Eden, the threshold between our plane and this is thin. Even I, a novice, may reach the frontier and then go beyond. I also believe it happened before. Some years ago, New Eden was hit by another epidemic. Yes. We learned of it in Fort Jericho. I believe that first epidemic was caused by the porosity of the frontier between New Eden and the Aralu. Although, where theirs was an affliction of burning flesh, ours is a corruption of mind and spirit. And I believe I have found its source. There is a substance, a strange ooze. You may have noticed it. This, I believe, is the true source of the Harrow's poison. It carries a particular stink, on the scent of which I experience first confusion, then a loss of control over my limbs. What do you expect to find at the source of the ooze? To find a cure? The ooze seeps into our world, sickening us. I may be able to stop it. Unfortunately, I cannot reach the source. The Aralu is a formidable place. Tricky. A maze constantly evolving, changing, reshaping itself. The Isthmus, for example. I found an oozing crack in the ground. The terrain then remade itself, and I can get to it no longer. Perhaps we might be able to find a way through and take a look at that source. Would you? That would be splendid! Would you mind taking notes? You see ghosts. You stroll the void as if it were your garden. You possess and share forbidden rituals. Who are you really? I'm Lammy Haskell, and I'm a man of many sciences. I am in fact a true pursuer. That raises more questions than it answers. What are the pillars of the universe? Which principles underpin existence? As occultists, do we change the world or scratch upon its surface? Each discipline I embrace peels back a new layer of reality. I'm yet at the beginning and see where I already stand. Amazing, no? Are you a demonologist like your father? More or less. Less, more so. My father sees occultism through the eyeglass of his faith, but I know better. So, more so? If you don't share your father's faith, what do you believe? 
I believe in the afterlife. The proof is about us. And if the void embodies eternal despair, there must too be a place of hope. But where, I ask myself, where? Your father is convinced a witch poisoned his well. Caleb Watson was cursed by a ritual you gave him. I'd focus if I were you. We must counter the devil with knowledge of his tricks. That, my father always said, is the purest of God's work. Ah, I can imagine your father saying that. When I was ten, he gave me my initiation. Demonology, sir, as he would say. He saw me as his heir. Then, of a sudden, the books were forbidden. So I stole them, the very same books he'd forced upon me as a boy. I understand them where he does not. I did no wrong, apart from a little theft. We must talk of Caleb Watson. Why in the hell would you give him a resurrection ritual? Ruth's death hit poor Caleb hard. He was alone, and so I would often stop by his workshop. We talked. He took a keen interest in my studies and was a good listener. You saw his grief at... Oh, you know the ritual. I've studied it. The actual ritual. Not the... Yes, and I'm sorry. I found it in a copy of... Dia I've met my fair share of illustrious occultists. And none owned an much is lost in translation or altered in the printing. I doubt your copy is an exception. Of course! The power is in the words, and mine were wrong, so the power went awry. You mistake foolishness for audacity. Surely the acquisition of... Will you still say that when Pennington accuses you of witchcraft? You must remember Deborah. Miss Comenius. Yes, of course, I... Your father tasked us with an investigation. One way or the other, we must return with the mystery solved. Ah. I think I understand what you're saying. I might be in a tiny little bit of, uh, danger. You've studied demonology. When my father forbade me to continue, I confess I disobeyed. Those big books were very boring until they were forbidden. Suddenly I could not get enough of their secret knowledge. More recently, a good friend of my father showed me that I had only been scratching at the sun. And I didn't... He called himself for him. Let's go take a closer look at that ooze then. And with that sorrow gone, I can leave. Do be careful. My home is your home. If you need anything, help yourself. The Aralu is not your home, Lani. But thank you. Uh, pardon my morbid enthusiasm, Mr. Stuarte, but could I ask you a few questions? What do you wish to know? Do you still need to eat? Do you feel hunger? Sorry, it's just... You're the first ghost I've met, uh, in per... And there, uh, we should get going. So, the pious governor's unassuming son is our evil Harrow's witch. Yeah. The more powerful the loose cannon, the more dangerous it is. I don't know that I buy Lammy's hair of the dog theory. But I feel strange, and I suspect the ooze. Only one way to find out. Oh, God. I need a wee bit of help here. Well, that was not pleasant. Not pleasant at all.
I am warded. I cannot. needs to line up. We need to look for somewhere to cross. There's more of it. Is through the breach, it separates like a festering wound. How delightful. Let's see what lies on the other side. Now. Underground, looks like. Wonderful. <laughs> the ooze affects the incarnate, too. Who goes there? Is that a ghost? I don't know. But I don't think we're alone. What might you be then? What was... Innocent. Oh, shite. Did you, did you just say shite? You! It's bigger than I thought it'd be. Is that a house from the Harrows? We may be below the well. No wonder they all got sick.
Look up. The ooze, uh, oozed through the very stone. This house belonged to a certain Antipas and Clemency Gibbs. And of all of them, just this one house fell down. Maybe it was personal. Is the Gibbs' house targeted by the ooze? Obviously. Look around you. Mr. and Mrs. Gibbs, have you read my paper? I read it, aye. And then I washed my hands and prayed for grace. You claim to prove that there is no curse. Well... A witch would say that, wouldn't she? Wherever people gather to live, disease takes hold, and I believe... What are you doing? Your evil lies shall be destroyed. We know who you are, and you shall be judged. Witch! That was Deborah. She built a case for her rationality, and they tore it apart. Heads up! Mrs. Gibbs, I presume. More efficient than cannon powder. The Gibbs' land was barren. He was struggling for money.
Another shadow. What do they want? Red, something is keeping me from manifesting. In here? Ah, oh, shite. See a ghost ward. What are they doing down here? Watch out. Spectre possession. <laughs> Possession incoming. I'm at your side again. I cannot. I can't worry. Better. You're welcome. Now let's inspect the body. Is he as pie? Nah, no, but you can't cook.
Clemency Gibbs blamed the epidemic on a witch. Come from New Eden time with the governor. That's not what Deborah was saying. The Gibbs are not at home to rational explanations. That's unfit for us to cross. Anything. Either the water table is full of ooze, or there's another source. Let's search upstream. Over there. Oh, loose of little buggers. Don't step in that. I mean it. We'll find a way around then. Ghost wards cannot manifest. Those echoes were here. The shadows speaking. They always appear near the ooze. So do the whispers. But which came first? say the same things over and over. What kind of entity would be so obsessed? I don't know. I'm drawing a blank.
going for a meat suit. Think you could take on a ghost? That court is taking you. Watch out. Spectre position. This looks perfectly drinkable. Famous last words. Why hasn't the poison spread to the groundwater? Perhaps it shifts and shapes, like the void. Well, at the very least, it shifts. Looks like the ooze comes from a distinct source. This whole country is rotten to the core. And you're just now reaching this conclusion? If I wanted your opinion, I'd give it to you. Perhaps if you gave me the space to have one, then we'd both be better off. Someone came through here, someone real, not just a shadow. Whoever it was, looks like the ooze got them. What do you think, Antea? You wanted the space to have your own opinion. I'm giving it to you. This must be Antipas Gibbs. Hell of a fall to live through. Now join in any time, Antea. What do you think I'm doing? She's God's land. How could we let a witch come to our community? Instructing our children, no less. Tis no surprise. New Eden brims over with backsliders. The governor, chief amongst them. Aye, many had to sicken and die for him to act. But the deed is not yet done. We must fight the Lord's good fight and cast the devil out for good. Many want to try the witch, aye. And many want to see her dead. Never learn, do they? They get back up. Ghost! 
those things came from the ooze. They're like those oriental shapeshifters we fought in Bremen. Or back liquefy. This is something else. The ooze reacted to our presence. Wasn't I always? Destroy those ghost wards, if you want me back. I am warded. I cannot. Another curse. Unclean spirit, leave now.
The Gibbs were so angry. Pure entitled bigotry. Maybe they were affected by the use. I mean, we've been snapping at each other since we got here. Something's toying with us. I think they made the ooze. This is it. This is the source. How do we get to it? This would be nicely if I wanted to put my legs up. Something tells me this is the condemned well. We better stick around. left a fragment of their past here. I sense the vivid echo of a ghost's memory. The devil still breathes through her mouth. We are cursed, and you are stalling. Clemency, Antipas, please. The woman has been jailed. As per custom, she will face trial and justice will be brought to this community. Coming from a magic user himself. But can you or your demonologist discernment really be trusted? Dare you insinuate such blasphemy? I'm a man of faith. Do what God commands of you. Governor, we ask for safety. If we do not get it, there will be consequences. The governor used Urim and Thummim, and that made his flock suspicious. Divination stones. He must have thrown them down the well when he sealed it. But why now? Hiding the evidence, perhaps, of his role in the witch trial. They connected him to the demonology he used to reinforce his authority. That echo proves that things were getting out of hand. For his son's safety and his own, Haskell must have feared the suspicious mob.
this can't be good. Speak, so you listen. the very thing I've become. deserves to feel like an outsider.
Yeah? Well, I... Enough. Can we please get out of here? That was awful. This trial. It was as if Deborah wanted us to face what she had faced. All I feel is beaten. I feel judged. Like I'll never be understood again. Justice miscarried here. Of course. That's it. I know what that was. Such spectre of injustice has a name. The mythical infamy. I've only read about them. They're so rare, most think them a myth. Nasco's cowardice is to blame. To save his own arse, he condemned a woman he knew to be innocent. And so a terrible ghost was born, and sickness piled on sickness. Haskell has so much to answer for. I 
feel a draft. From the invisible. That down there was uh, I was tense. I was impatient. The infamy's doing, not yours. No, no. Doesn't change the feelings. I never thought I could feel such anger again. They were Deborah's feelings, not yours. How refreshing it is to the soul to be at once thus delivered of that which was. One thing above all else, my friends, is true. The wicked are at odds with themselves. How oh, good, his latest sermon. The Lord's promise of salvation from hell pleases them. The Lord's salvation from misery and sin here on earth does not. This doesn't look like salvation from misery and sin. The wicked pray for deliverance from the fires of hell while piling the kindling high. They proclaim their love for their Lord, yet in his name they serve themselves. Their self-regard crumbles in the light of their hateful iniquities. So, so true. Mr. McCraith, my friend, I'm so glad you agree. Now the wicked man never questions- I have your answers. What? Yes, good. So we should discuss this privately, if you'll give me just a moment. It's quite the story. You might not wish to hear it. Neither may the good people here. Please, this is not the time. We want to hear the story. Let the Banisher speak. Tell them, Red. Tell them good. Ah, there's a story that starts with a question. A question for you, Governor. And... Maybe for all the good people of New Eden. If I give you a witch, will you do what you did to Deborah Comenius? Comenius, say you? The school teacher walked with the devil and paid the appropriate price. That's the beginning of the history and also its end. Is it, though? Now, I've learned much about Deborah Comenius and what happened to her, and it tells a very different tale. And what story? Pray you, does it tell? 
It tells the story of a man, a latter-day King Solomon. When plague struck his subjects, they turned to him for guidance and protection, for they were God-fearing folk, and he was a godly king. The king's captain walled the sick away, but the plague spread on. The people grumbled. The king thought he might fall. He needed a sacrificial lamb. You lose the run of your tongue, Mr. McCraith, and of the head to which it's fixed. There was no lamb. There was a trial, fair and lawful. You're a pompous coward, fearful of anyone different, as human as that is. There must be a man to judge, or there is no order. A man to make the judgment, and a man to enforce it. Of all people, you know this. I live and let live. I choose only for the dead. I choose for the living. These people are sinners, sir, and must be led back to the light. This is my mandate, my duty. Admit it. You toy with magic, you don't understand. You, sir, are jealous. I, sir, am tired. I've done my job, fulfilled my contract, I've found the source of the curse. The poison below the well is no more. No thanks to you! Aha! Poison it was, then! The weapon of the wicked, to weaken the people's will. What was it? Belladonna? Hemlock? Foxglove? Betrayal! Truth unspoken! Secrets and lies! Wrongs, basically! Your wrongs! The wrongs you visited upon Deborah Comenius! The wrongs that led to her death! She died at the hand of the body politic. She died at all our hands. Most of all, she died at her own. She died because she would not submit. T'was not my plan to kill her, stupid, stubborn woman. Why did she not confess? I would have granted clemency. I would have shown her mercy. say your flock forced your hand. For the greater good, you say, you indulge their bloodlust. I believe you did it. I don't believe your motive. You delighted in your magical witch hunt. Your trivial rituals. You thought you'd be lauded for your humility and skill. But you have neither. Now all around you crumbles. Yet still you state your claim as the rightful protector of the people of New Eden. I have found the culprit, the devil worshipper, the source of the evil that has befallen your community. Sorry, son. <gasps> You're having a laugh. You can't be! That don't! You... <gasps> My son, a witch! <gasps> you mock us, sir! Present proof, or retract your ridiculous accusation! Now you need proof. For years, Lamy studied your precious library of the Forbidden. But he outdid his father. He learned. It was Lamy who taught Caleb Watson the dark ritual that brought his beloved wife back from the dead. I was trying to help. I did nothing wrong. No! Lord of mercy! For shame! The boy was always strange. No. No, Lammy is a good boy. I won't have it. Easy, Governor. Your son's intentions were sound, and his mistakes, grave as they were, did not poison the well. Forgive me for swearing in the meeting house, but this is a blooming farce. Have I ever failed you? 
in evil times have we not endured? Have I not protected you? Fooled by his own flesh, how could he be so blind? Have faith! The Banisher has lifted the curse. Brighter days are here. I knew you were trouble. You and your lady. Look what you've done. Don't push your luck, Haskell. I've given you a shot at redemption. It's more than you gave Deborah. Damn you, Banisher. Paid in consideration of a curse lifted. All rights defended now and hereafter. I look forward to never seeing you again. Don't count on it. The work's not done. After all this, don't forget to rest. So, what now? What did Ceridian say when we first met her? Once we'd weakened the Nightmare's influence, we could use the Void to enter its lair. Deborah's grip on the Settlers has diminished. We'll return to Ceridian's island. From there, the Void Breach will take us back to New Eden Town. Just like that, eh? Well, yes, just like that. Something bothering you. But aren't we rushing things a little? We've lost too much time already. We have a nightmare to confront, remember? Sometimes I hate the world. Another free woman, bright, sensitive, kind, murdered by a craven rabble too weak to face its own mediocrity. Cowards hiding behind fake virtue. And for what? They won't even say her name. Why? Why her? You said it yourself. Deborah was a victim of their fear. That's not enough. Her murder was another throw of a dice. Why is it always us who have to pay with our lives? Aye. You did. And I regret my failure to my dying day and after it too. I was not speaking of our situation. When I left Cuba, anything could have befallen me. I was bright, free, talented. No, I had the wrong tongue, the wrong sex, the wrong skin. I defied life. I expected so much more from the world. I was arrogant. Arrogant to believe I needed no one. To shut out my mother and experience curandera and listen instead to my sister. Your childhood friend. What happened? I had little and wanted more. A dangerous thing when you have our type of talent. Anything could have befallen me, but it didn't. This has been hard for you. For me too. Perhaps we should think of how far we've come together and take heart. I am dead, Rory. I am dead and sooner we'll be gone for good. You think I don't know this? Don't make this about you, Red. I wasn't. Look, all this is a lot to endure. We're both exhausted. I know I am. 
I cannot tire. I know. I know how hard it's been for you. You have no idea. None at all. I'll do my best to understand, if you'll let me. We should have faith. Look at us. We'll get to where we're going. Shut up, Red. Shut up. This isn't about... This isn't about what we have conquered or what we have achieved or how far we have journeyed. Look at us. Look at me. I loathe what I've become. Can't you see that? I was trying to help. I'm sorry. Stop apologizing. Good night. Antea. Antea. I would have gone with you. Not funny. I have to walk to the stupid bloody island. There you are. Ready to go? I just got here. Can we talk? Why did you leave me alone? You were not alone. Can we go now? <laughs> 